Hello, this is a short intro to problem uh, one of homework two of the assembly class. <clears throat> so in, in the assignment, you have to compute, I'm asking you to compute an equation or an expression, which is three times variable x plus two times variable y minus variable z, uh, and store that in the third, in the fourth variable. Uh, I can call it uh, s, s for sum. Um, so I'm going to show you briefly um, how you can do that. I'll give you some hints here. Uh, I recommend that you don't use multiplication, even though it's, the, it's, the, it's a, an instruction that is available. But instead, you can, you can add a variable to itself multiple times, and that's the same as multiplying uh, by 2, by 3, by some, some number. So um, we're going to go to the simulator. That's the simulator. Remember, it has three different tabs here. That's a picture of the main um, protagonist, the, the processor and the RAM. We have our little computer simulator with the processor here, the memory there, and we have different commands to execute uh, the program. And so I'm going to start here in the program. I've already erased um, the program that is there by default. So I'm going to guess that my program is going to be so short that address 10 is probably a good address to put my variable. If my program gets longer than that and overflows into 10, then I'll have to put my variable lower and rewrite my program. But I'm going to guess 10 is good. And I'm going to put maybe the number 3 in it. Um, so that's my variable. And actually, I'm going to um, call it, say, var1, one, variable 1s, contains the, the number 3. So, all right. And uh, so I have to make sure that I start at 0, 0 colon. So Always our programs should always start at zero. So zero, that's where the instructions are gonna be. So the first instruction I'm gonna load 10, the contents of the press 10, and what that will do, it will put in the accumulator uh, my variable one. Okay, and I'm gonna press enter, I see that the line is um, be written by the um, the assembler. It puts the instructions in um, uppercase and it, it put the address as a, a digit of, um, as a number with four digits, and my comment is here. So what load 10 does, it goes to memory, remember brackets mean go to memory, address 10, find whatever you, is there, which is number 3, that address 10, and we're going to put that in the accumulator inside the processor, and that's where we can do operations. So um, here, and by the way, I don't, now that I'm I've started at zero and I'm writing instructions. I don't need to specify the address. The assembler will automatically figure out where the next instruction goes. I'm going to add address 10. And what that will do, it will take the accumulator and it will replace it by the old value of the accumulator plus variable 1, which is at address 10. Okay. So now the accumulator will have 2 times 3, so that's how I'm going to do multiply by 2. I'm going to add to the accumulator the variable. And then I can store this back in that variable at address 10. And what that will do is it will put in bar 1 my variable accumulator times 2, which is bar 1 times 2. Hope that makes sense. And then never remember to halt the program. And you see that I'm at address 6, my variable is at address 10, so there's no overflow, there's no uh, collision, so that's all good. Everything is in uppercase, so I can go to my computer, and it, the program has been loaded in memory, I see it here. Some instructions take two bytes, like add and store, and halt is simple enough that it takes only one byte. And you see here that the halt is highlighted, that means that the, the processor has not been reset, it thinks that the next instruction is the halt, so I'm going to reset. Now, program counter, which always tells the processor where instructions are, contains zero. And that's why these two bytes are highlighted, uh, containing the first instruction, load 10. All right. So at memory zero, at 10, I have three right here. So I'm going to step. All right, so this instruction has been executed. And now the 3 has gone from address 10 to the accumulator. So you see my accumulator contains 3. I'm going to add to the accumulator the contents of address 10. So 10 still contains 3. So I'm going to take that 3 and add it to whatever is in the accumulator, which is 3. So if I step, 
we see the accumulator now contains six, three plus three. Okay, next instruction is going to take this six and it's going to put it back at ten. Ten contains three, I step, and now ten contains six. Right here. So what you just saw is that when you click on the memory, it switches from integer representation decimal to binary, which is the original contents of the memory. The memory can only contain bits. And using the code, the coding system, then some these bits will represent numbers or instructions. Like 18 means storing memory at some address, and 10 is the address. All right, so that should be enough for you to um, approach um, problem one.